What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 G's in front of Big Easy. Hit a walk y'all back to the showroom. And today, got a review for y'all. Trying to hurry up and get this out before the end of the new year. But before I do that, I'd like y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and also follow me on all my other social media platforms, which will be linked in the description below. Hope y'all enjoying yourselves. And I'm just gonna go into this clusterfuck of a release that transpired, which I personally in my opinion feel like they should have just postponed the whole thing considering that many stores did not have their pairs many stores did not have complete size runs like this is probably the most spottiest shiftiest fuckery of a release that i've dealt with in the last two probably since i've been back in retail and i'm just gonna be all the way real with y'all about this man it broke my heart just to tell people that we didn't have pairs, we didn't have this, people into raffles, people into these online raffles, which I'm like, y'all should have totally just like, took certain uh, shoes off of the list, or stores off of the list, so we wouldn't even have to be putting up with this bullshit because motherfuckers is ignorant. And on top of that, man, like I said, people just, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of shit involved with that, but I'm a, Go on that spill a little bit later, but I was able to secure from Foot Locker a pair of probably of the last release of the year coming from Nike Jordan brand. And as y'all can see by the box right here, I was able to hit on a grade school size. As y'all can see, we have this nice black and red Nike box, glossy back black and red box, similar to similar to the matted out box y'all can see here but i'm gonna go ahead and get into the schematics of this the air jordan one retro high og gs style code is 575441 color code is 063 black varsity red white retail on this was 130 dollars man size was 170 dollars now getting into that style code if you've been buying Jordan ones for a long time y'all will already know the black varsity red colorway is 001 has always been 001 uh, when we're talking about black varsity red y'all could clearly see right here the color code for varsity red is usually 001 but that could be placement that could be a whole lot of other things considering that um the black toe is also one of those one of those shoes that fall into that category because people could easily get that confused with the Chicago. But let's go ahead and get into the box. And uh this is actually going to a friend. Uh but let's go ahead. As y'all can see, got that lot number right there. We have the white tissue paper. And let's get into the shoe. Left shoe right here. Very, very nice in my opinion. If I sound unenthused, I'm sorry about that. I'm actually excited about this shoe. I would have been more excited if I got my, my own personal pair. But I'll do an in-depth uh, analysis on that when I get my own personal pair. But this is just for the visual of the, in the sake of the video. But as y'all can see right here. We have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the grade school uh, bread patent leather, patent leather blur bread, whatever they want to call it, whatever they're dubbing this. Very nice, you know, in my personal opinion. Uh, not much to really go up on the Jordan 1. If, you see, if I done one review on them, I done them all at this point. So, no, no different 1985 technology, Peter Moore. Uh, the designer of the shoe also designed the Nike Air Dunk, the Air Force 
uh Bruce Kilgore did the Air Force too. Priya Moore did the Air Force. I mean, uh why why I keep thinking about Bruce Kilgore, he did the Jordan too. Um Peter Moore came up with design. Also the airship as well. Uh Michael Jordan's initial signature shoe. So um they're pretty much paying homage to that shoe. All right. Basically paying homage to this shoe right here, and as y'all can see, uh just took this shoe, made it into a pad leather version. And this is no not the first time we've had a pad leather version of a Jordan 1. We've had the DSM, the Gold Toes, the Jordan Brand Classic, and also the 2003 renditions, which include the Chicago, the UNC, and also the Black and Gold edition as well. Um, but for this, for, for whatever reason, they finally decided to come out with this one. And yes, it does look a little more glossier than a couple of other pad leather pads that I have, but this actually looks nice. It has a sense of a, kind of an elegant flow to it, but it did come with some red laces right here. Start with the bottom. So y'all can see we had that varsity red bottom on there with the Nike Air on there. We had the white midsole, glad it's not off white. And then we have this full patent leather upper on there. We have the glossy black leather on there. We have the red swoosh. We have the black, the red bagging on here as well. Black wings logo. Nothing too crazy out of the way. A very straightforward shoe. We do have the nylon tongue on here. And we also had that Nike Air on the tongue. On the inside, we do have Nike Air on there as well on the insole. And we also have family wrote on the inner sock liner and it is a softer sock liner by comparison in comparison to the actual textile pattern that's on a regular band pair but very nice in my personal opinion uh like i said they did a good job on the grade school pair uh like I said, I really can't give you much on it considering I don't have my own personal pair. It did come, they didn't cheat the uh, grade school this time. They did give them the hang tag like they did for the adults and it's done it all red. As I was saying, we did get that red hang tag on this one. And this one is actually bigger than the ones that we got on the 2003 pair, as y'all can see right here. This is the 03 tag from those, uh, those mids that came out back in the day. As y'all can see right there. Don't think the camera focusing on that. But it is significant. The newer one is significantly bigger. As y'all can see there. So very nice touch they added on this one. Um, but yes, like I said, this was a complete botch of a release. Uh, originally they were going to push this release back to March. But for whatever reason, they just went ahead and pushed it up to 30th, which was today. I don't know what the deal was about that. Like I said, basically, y'all just put a very, very sour taste in a lot of people's mouth with this release. Considering that a lot of people really didn't have a chance, considering a lot of stores didn't have their pairs. And they probably entered raffles, lost points, lost uh, head starts because of a shoe that never even showed up at the store. But um, that's for a whole nother day. That's for a whole nother rant. That's for a whole nother video. But this has a night. Nice, this shoe definitely is gonna go to a nice home. Uh, I mean, you can't really compare the reds because it's pad leather versus regular leather. All you can really see is the gloss and the madness of the shoe. But eh, why would you do that? Why would you? Oh. I don't know. I wouldn't even compare these two. Like I said, that's a whole different ball game at this point. But um, let me get on in the comment section with your other thing below. As always, I deeply appreciate each and every last one of y'all. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I am JC Baby. We're in the showroom. And I'm out. You did.